Osteoarthritis is a type of degenerative joint disease that results from breakdown of joint cartilage and underlying bone. The most common symptoms are joint pain and stiffness. Usually, the symptoms progress slowly over the years. It develops as cartilage is lost and the underlying bones becomes affected. The most commonly involved joints are the two near the ends of the fingers, the joint at the base of the thumbs, the knee, the hip joints and the joints of the neck and the lower back. Osteoarthritis is the most common cause of joint effusion of the knee. The development of osteoarthritis knee is correlated to age, heredity, female gender with a history of previous joint injury or with obesity. Three bones meet and move against each other at the knee point. The bottom of the femur meets with the top of the tibia. The patella glides along a groove located at the bottom and front of the femur. As you can see the ligament of Frisberg and posterior cruciate ligament. Medical, meniscus and tibia articular cartilage can also be seen. This is the normal type of joint. Next, going on to the mild type of osteoarthritis. Osteophytes will be visible on the x-ray images but the cartilage is usually still at a healthy size. As you can visualize, it is shown here the erosion of articular cartilage and some mild narrowing of the knee joint space. In other words, the space between the bones is normal and the bones aren't rubbing or scraping one another. At this stage, synovial fluid is also typically still present at sufficient levels for normal joint motion. Next to the moderate. In this stage, the cartilage between the bones shows obvious damage and the space between the bones begins to narrow. Osteophytes are bony lumps that grow on the bones of the spine or around the joints. And the space between the joints has narrowed even more. Subchondral sclerosis is a thickening of the bone that helps in joints affected by the osteoarthritis. Synovial hyperplasia refers to an increase of the cellularity of the synovial membrane and leads to synovial thickening. Meniscus and articular damage can also be seen along with synovial hyperplasia. Now going on to the severe type of neoarthritis, osteoarthritis. All the damages occurred in this stage of osteoarthritis of the knee have become more prominent and have become very serious. The joint space narrowing has become severe. Osteophytes and every other damage occurred have become very prominent. As you can see, cartilage fragments are also there. Synovial hyperplasia can be seen almost everywhere. Capsular fibrosis and thickening can also be seen. There are many treatments available for severe or stage 4 osteoarthritis, bone realignment surgery, total knee surgery and many more surgeries are there.